Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. Got some run plays for you today, or at least a running formation out of the Raiders playbook. Now this playbook here is one of the most popular meta playbooks in the game, it's been that way since last year. And the formation I'm going to show you guys is a formation that I've been running into a lot lately when I've been playing games online. It really makes me question, is this one of the meta running formations and nobody told me, I just don't know about it? Because I keep running into people running strong H wing. I'm very successfully, if you saw my last gameplay somebody busted a huge run against one of my top defenses so i'm going to start off this video showing some uh some running plays if i have time at the end i might show some pass plays but if i don't they're going to be on my patreon on my join now community tab section uh although if you guys want to see full breakdown of this on my regular youtube hit the like button and let me know in the comment section and i could put that out on regular youtube very soon so let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that but the plays two of them are already in here i mean the the power alert x smoke is already in here here. The counter weak. Now this one's a very interesting one. This formation with most of these run plays is in two different playbooks. It's in the Raiders and the Seahawks. But I'm focusing on the Raiders because the Seahawks doesn't have this counter play. And this counter play is pretty important. So I'm going to add the counter play to my, uh, my you know, audibles here. Then uh, probably one of the best ones that's not already in the audibles would also be just a regular dive. And those would probably be the four. So the stretch alert X looky, which I don't even think we showed. The stretch alert X looky right there. That's the one that, like I said, a lot of people are hitting me with and having a lot of success. The way this play works, it's almost like a toss play. It looks like a toss play when the people are running it against you. Now, before I get into this video, as always, if you guys want to get your mutt team up like mine, I currently rock it at 98, which is the highest I've ever had, by the way. Uh, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off. Now, as far as these four run plays go, you can see you got a different launch angle with pretty much every one of them. The power alerts uh, and the stretch alerts... Uh, uh, you can't flip. Uh, they're the only plays you can't flip because you you have a receiver doing something, which kind of sucks. Uh, because the, the the power alert especially would be great if I could flip it, but you can't really do that. So uh, when it comes to flipping plays, it's really just going to be the counter and the dive. Now this is an interesting opportunity for the counter. It's a little bit more tight than I like, but I'm going to go ahead and run this because I don't know how many looks I'm going to get uh, for that necessarily. And you can see right there, it didn't necessarily work out 100%. When it comes to the counter plays, you really want more spacing and more of a spread. Like this here, this is a perfect opportunity. I guess the dive would make the most sense uh, based off the fact that you can see I have a huge hole right over the middle. So a lot of times you're just really reading for holes. Uh, but there are certain coverages where these plays will have more success uh, than others, which I'll go into. So like I was saying, a lot of times since, you know, basically a lot of people are running cover threes right now, it just looks like it could be a cover three. The stretch alert look is really the most dominant play when it comes to this particular running formation. And this looks like it's a cover three or at least a cover one with a blitz, which either way, this play should work out really well. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to take that i don't typically uh throw it to the the slant that's not something i'm really going to run unless it's a man coverage uh, but ultimately you can see how that worked out there then on the other side i mean this is another perfect opportunity for the counterplay based on the fact that we have a huge gap out here the only real issue there is you can see that guard kind of overshot it but that was definitely you know a good run i just had to run a little bit wider than i wanted to so let's go to the replay and saw what happened there uh, because like i said anytime you see this type of formation where you have a widespread gap like this you can shoot for that gap i mean that's that's a really easy read and sure enough this is pretty much your only read when it comes to uh, a counter run is this outside defensive Event. Now he's coming off the edge fast, which is good. I mean, you want that. Typically, you want that look because then you can go up inside of it. Ultimately, like I said, this is the read, and you're really reading this defensive end. If he shoots in fast like that, plays it aggressively, you go inside of him. If he stalls, if he stutters, if he stops right here and just like puts his hands out like he does a lot of times, I'll show you that look too. You typically can go outside of him or inside of him, but uh, if he comes off fast, you just have to go inside every time. So I mean, here you can look for opportunities when it comes to this to the you know the counter play. You really need space like that but this stretch play 
really should have success. As long as you have a fast running back, this stretch play should have success against most things. So right here, this cover three, you see that corner. I don't know, maybe it wasn't a cover three. Maybe it was a man coverage, which, you know, it looked like it was a man coverage or a cover three. I'll go to the replay to check out which one it was. I think one of the reasons I'm seeing it so much is because it's so good against, uh, you know, pretty much the meta coverages right now, which is cover three zone, uh, man cover one, man zero. Those are probably the most predominantly used coverages in Madden Online. And you can see right here how this is going to take advantage of both of them like right here that's a man coverage he completely takes himself out of the play maybe it was a man zero uh looks like a man cover one though based off that safety you can see how there's just nothing out here and if it's a cover three typically this cornerback here drops back and takes himself out of the play to the point where these stretch runs uh, can get outside of it so here we go once again looks like another cover three this is probably going to be like i was saying if you watch that cornerback on the outside he drops back takes himself out of the play and by the time he reacts and gets down i mean i got a one-on-one -on -one for the edge so for my money i mean the, the two best runs are definitely going to be the stretch and the counter the counter makes a lot of you know obviously people the thing too is a lot of people are going to shift dramatically in the direction of the two tight ends and the fullback and in that scenario you're obviously going to want to just hit him to the uh, the counter side i mean it's really that simple when it comes to the you know the most explosive plays out of this formation so even though i have four plays here i really feel like the two best plays are pretty much just going to be the counter and the stretch and then the dive obviously is a, is a decent play the the power in my opinion is not a great play here though we don't have a ton of we have a little bit of a, a blocking advantage on that side that's a scenario where you know you could easily use that power run but I feel like you don't really have that a lot. So like I said, pre-snap here, you can see all the, you know, you have pretty much everybody on the back side here. This is a good opportunity for a power because you have a blocking advantage. This next run looks pretty much the same way uh, where once again, I mean, obviously the counter is not really a good option. This, I still think the stretch would be a better way to go, but to use the power a little bit more just to get some footage on it, you can see how you definitely need uh, a blocking advantage to that side, but at least you have attacks to both sides of the line of scrimmage. So that's one of the things about this formation is you just have attacks to both sides, uh, which, you know, Know, most formations don't have counter runs. Counter runs to me are some of the better runs in the game uh, if you run them uh, correctly. Here's another opportunity for that counter run. Just as long as that block comes around, seals it. A lot of times you'll get a hole right up the middle as you saw right there. And then this could be a very explosive run. I mean, I'm averaging 10 to 15 a carry uh, just using this. So like I said, I can see why a lot of people uh, are using this setup online right there. I mean, you can see when you have those moving blockers, you know, the defensive players just disappear. Let's, let's go to the replay again real quick. As these guys just get washed out, I ended up basically treating this like a dive because these guys just, just get washed out of the play. I mean, that's just that's just perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see the full breakdown with all the pass plays uh, next week, let me know in the comment section or hit the like button, and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching the Man Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.